So x squared, um, Sterling, and that what x cubed over three? Mm -hmm. Cool. Let me do another one. X to the fourth. That would be x to the fifth over five. Mm -hmm. What about x to the two n? X to the two n. Just add what number? Plus one. Plus one. So watch what I'm going to get. Take off this elongated s. Uh -huh. Do the antiderivative. This stays, this stays. All that stays, now watch this. Pump this up by one, and then you divide by that constant, which is now what? 2n plus 1. Then you can put your plus c. That's it. That would evaluate it. I could be oh. programmed into a calculator. Is that what it it could run to an infinite sum. It could, well, it probably wouldn't go to infinity, but it would it'd go to enough places, those programmers here, so it would be accurate to like eight places or so. So if you put like, even a definite integral here, let's say it went from zero to five, right? You just put the number. Well, there. if x equals zero, it'd get thrown out, but you put a five here, and then you just, it would sum all those terms. Yep. Probably only sum out, you'd have to sum like the first 50 terms or so. Isn't that cool? So this is our the Taylor series, right? Or the Maclaurin. That's right. The Taylor, Taylor series. Yep. That's, and they call it a McLaurin series. McLaurin series, yeah. That's yeah. a McLaurin series, which is a Taylor series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Taylor, McLaurin series, a Taylor series centered at zero. Good. And that's a, that's a McLaurin series. It's convergent for all real numbers. Uh -huh. So you don't have to, like, with this, you go, wait, it doesn't this only work for certain x values? No. Because when you get natural logs and stuff, you got to be careful with that stuff. So isn't that cool, though? You'll love calc. I wanted to show that to you. So if you're like, I guess there's no way to integrate that. Then you learn other techniques. That's the beauty of calculus. You'll learn some other man. But it does look scary looking, doesn't it? When you leave that on the board and then the Calc 1 students come in, they're like, oh man, I don't want to take Calc 2. Because they see this, it looks all good. But it's not hard, is it? Think so. And if you got numbers, and want this out of 5, make that a 5. Change that to 5 right there. And then some numbers, you would just let some, put a bunch of numbers in your computer and let it run. You can use Microsoft Excel or a calculator. Cool. Hey, so uh, we were going to have the test tomorrow. Like, how about this? We'll make the test what? Monday? I think Jess wanted that, right? Jess wanted on Monday. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm playing with that. Oh, was there someone in here wanting to take the test tomorrow? No? All right, cool. Hey, so tomorrow we'll just review. Now I'd be like, listen, if you're bored with reviewing Chapter 5 stuff, then couldn't you ask me questions like from old tests? Because a week from now you're going towards a what? The final, you might start like, hey, can we, can I do a problem from test to argument? You might be like, test two, I don't know how to do uh, implicit differentiation. For step to test one, you might be like, can we do limits? Or you might say, can we do L'Hopital's rule? And we can make stuff up. In fact, chapter right? five. And then Tuesday's a review day too, true? Hey, if you don't come tomorrow, we're just reviewing, right? It's not a big deal for like, I'm not going to be like, you know, Fred was not here. Where's Fred? Well, we're reviewing. Fred's probably studying on her own. Have a great day. In my opinion, are you going to take count two next time?